Hi, it's the Junkin' Pumpkin, also known as Katie, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. I switched up the background for you guys today so you guys don't have to look at my ugly water heater and furnace anymore. I went and bought a chair and I found a corner in my house with my beautiful Tiffany lamp that I just love to pieces. And we got some cool blankets behind me as well. But anyway, today I have a what's sold video for you. I picked out 10 items that stood out to me. Some high sales, some weird sales, and some sales that you just wouldn't expect to sell on that platform. So I'm really excited to get into it. I got my list here and let's go. So the first four sales we're gonna talk about today are from Mercari. And I just wanted to say shout out to Mercari because you guys are really helping my online business so freaking much. I joined two weeks ago and I already made 24 sales. And Mercari only has 10% commission fees, I guess is the right word, platform fees. So I just, yeah, shout out Mercari. If you guys aren't on Mercari, try it out. I know all the other YouTube resellers that I watch, they, they don't do too well with Mercari. So I wasn't expecting much. You won't know till you try, go try it out. And also I have a list perfectly that I'm just, I love it. If you guys want to sign up for list perfectly, it'll give you some kind of discount. I think it's ten dollars off your first month but anyway i will put the link below and that has definitely helped out my sales so very much it's fifty dollars a month but trust me it is definitely worth it because if i didn't have lists perfectly i wouldn't have all these sales on mercari or poshmark so what i do is i list directly onto ebay and then i pull my listings from ebay and then i cross list them from there but yeah, I know that's a bunch of unneeded information. So let's get into the first sale. And let me get my paper to make sure. <laughs> my first sale, I guess I should say, I hit the jackpot with hats. So a bunch of, oh, oh, my camera almost fell. <laughs> I hit the jackpot with hats. So a bunch of these hats, or a bunch of these sales are hats. All the hats I'm going to talk about today came from a giant lot. And I got about 20 hats for $5. So when you divide it all out, it's about 40 cents per hat. So just keep in mind, all the hats I'm going to talk about today have a cost of goods of 40 cents. So I, I just, I really hit the score or hit the score. I really scored with these hats. Like I said earlier, I'm excited to talk about them. If you guys don't know anything about hats, you guys need to learn and educate yourselves because some of these hats go for crazy amounts of money. And they're not even just the vintage sports hats that I'm about to show you. The farmer's hats and all that stuff. Look into them. But anyway, the first sale I was going to talk about was, like I said, a hat that sold on Mercari for, or that cost 40 cents. So I'll insert a picture of it here. It is a genuine leather San Francisco 49ers hat. And that sold for $38. And then this next hat has kind of a funny story, I guess. So I wasn't really even going to list it because it's an IU hat, which is what's the word of, I guess, in university here in Indiana. But I forgot IU was famous for their basketball, so I went ahead and listed the hats. And I have this vintage IU hat. I listed it for $30. It sold the same day. And then I got a message from another guy saying, did you ship the hat out already? Because I'll pay you $50 for it. And I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry, I would love to, but I can't do that to the buyer. <laughs> so that must have been a more valuable hat that I had looked over. The next two Macari sales we are going to talk about are paper goods. And so, you know, the grab bags at Goodwill that cost like three or four dollars. So it was half off day and I picked up this grab bag and it was full of vintage party supplies. So I listed it. And it sold within a day, of course, but it was a 101 Dalmatians party pack. It came with the little treat bags, the banners, and the party hats. 
and it sold for $12 on Mercari the same day. And I paid $1.50 for this entire bag that came with several other things, including my next sale. So I've already made my money back on that entire bag, plus. And then I have a Maggie in the Ferocious Beast. If you guys remember that cartoon, that was one of my favorite cartoons growing up next to Clifford the Big Red Dog. But anyway, they were little notepads that you stick inside of the party packs or the little party bags and that sold for four dollars on mercari and the reason i put the sale in here is because it came i'm selling these in packs of two by the way it came with 16 packs of these little children's notes so if you do the math which I'm not going to promise my math is correct because I suck at math. But if you do the math and we'll have eight sales at $4 each. So eight, 16, $32 just out of them notepads. Check out them little bags. And if, um, if you see something that might sell in there and there's lots of quantities in there, easy to list and your listing will stay up as or stay up until all your quantities sold. So like I said, $32 for just them notepads that I've already made my money back off of. Check them out. Well, I already talked about it in my vlog style kind of video, but I just wanted to mention it here again cause I'm just, I'm really proud of this sale. So this is another hat sale. Keep in mind, this hat costs 40 cents. Just keep in mind. So, <laughs> I might have screwed up on the sale, but I mean, I'm still happy with it. So, I listed it starting bid, $100, okay? And right away, I had like five people message me, what's your bottom dollar? What's your bottom dollar? I'll give you $200 right now. And I'm like, eh, maybe I should leave it on auction. But I gave in because I've never had a big money bolo as big as this one with so much interest. And I gave in and I relisted it, buy it now for 300 And one of the guys messaging me bought it right away. So I should have left it on auction. Some people were telling me I could have got closer to $500 for this hat. But $0.40 cents into $300, how can you be mad? So whatever. And anyway, this is it. It is a White Sox hat and the brand is The Game. The Game is... Almost all of their hats do well, but you need to look for ones like this um, where the logo goes across the head and big logo hats sell well. And especially, like I said, the game. And the White Sox hat sold specifically a lot more better than, is that a word? <laughs> but anyway, it sold a lot better than um, the other the game hats because the White Sox is a really trendy team right now. But if you get just a regular old team hat with the big logo, it sh you should at least get a guaranteed 100. I'm just saying, just saying. Check out them hats. And these hats are made of wool or a wool blend. And that's how you know they're most likely vintage. This next sale I'm going to talk about is an eBay sale. I love selling fun, old, weird, vintage telephones. And I found a neon phone. So when I first found it, I was like, oh my God, this is a CCNA phone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but a CCNA phone is made out of neon and it's a clear phone. So whenever you like pick it up, it turns red. And whenever you put it down, it turns green. I might have that opposite, but anyway, it's a neon phone. And when I picked it up, I thought it was a true CCNA phone. And those go for like $100, $120. So I was super, super pumped. But then I turned it over and it was a reproduction phone from 2007. And it still sold for $30. But here's a picture of it. I'll insert it here. I just love selling old phones. They're neat. And $30 is not bad for a reproduction. But like I said, if it was a true CCNA, it would go for $100 or more with this next sale so I had an ad for a local estate sale and it was a straight hoarder's house <laughs> I ain't gonna lie 
it was a bunch of really old vintage Avon and games and toys and clothes. But anyway, um, nothing too crazy good, but it was fun digging through someone's house. <laughs> anyway, I showed up two hours early to the sale because I misread the times. And when I got out of the car, it was the Thirsty Thrifters. So it was really cool getting to meet them. I had absolutely no idea they were local to me. And it's cool to always meet someone on YouTube that you watch. So if you um, haven't checked them out, go check them out. Because they have a video of the exact house that I went to dig through. And I know I said I showed up two hours early. I'm sorry I did. I promise I misread the times. And they still let me stay and dig through. So I had basically first pick. And I, I got out two Ikea bags full of stuff with an average cost of goods of 92 cents. So this vintage blow mold piggy bank that I'm going to talk about has a cost of goods of 92 cents. And it is the brand AJ Renzi. And it looks like Porky the Pig, but I don't know if it's supposed to be. But anyway... It had 1964 stamped on the bottom, and so it's really vintage. But anyway, it sold for $26 plus shipping. Also, I just wanted to say really quick, I found some Pyrex at the Thirsty Thrifters estate sale, and it got me hooked. So I am now a Pyrex collector. So if you guys have any old Pyrex sets that you want to get rid of, hit me up. Just saying. It's beautiful. But anyway, uh, this next sale is Poshmark. So the last of the sales that we're going to talk about are all on Poshmark. And it is an anthropology, angel of the north, cardigan, poncho kind of thing. And it sold within 20 minutes for $35. And I had a cost of goods of $5. So that was a nice, quick, fun sale. And she didn't even send me an offer. She just bought it outright. So that's cool. And... Okay, sorry. <laughs> so this next one is a fun one. I love finding single stitch shirts. Honestly, I'm a sucker for them. I don't know why. And I need to get out of the habit of doing this. But I pick up every single single stitch t-shirt I can find. Because I'm always dreaming one day I'll, I'll hit the jackpot with them. So this next one was actually a band shirt, band single stitch, but it wasn't a crazy popular band, so I didn't get too much out of it. It is a Hootie and the Blowfish 1993 or 97, I forget, but it's the Cracked Rear View Mirror Tour, I think. Don't quote me, but I'll insert pictures here to show you. But yeah, that shirt I paid 75 cents for at a garage sale and it sold for $30. My last and final sale on Poshmark was a super exciting sale. I had it cross-listed on to eBay in Mercari, and it was getting lots of love on, e er, on Mercari, so I thought it was going to sell on Mercari. Then, shockingly, it sold on an offer for $100, and I'll insert a picture of it right here, but it is a 1980s Fisher Price McDonald's playset, and it came with the little people in the car, and the stickers on the set were in fantastic shape. And if I didn't say it, which I think I did, but it sold for a hundred dollars on Poshmark, and I was just so shocked it sold on Poshmark. I haven't sold anything but clothes and jewelry on Poshmark, so this gives me a little more encouragement to maybe list some more um, hard goods on Poshmark. Because, to be honest, I usually don't list hard goods on Poshmark. Because, I mean, they'll never sell. So, I'm not going to waste my time. But this might change my mind. So, yeah. But that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys like my new background. I'll eventually get a pretty one. But this will work for now. And I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of video or content and comment below and let me know what your best performing platform is. And that's it for me. Peace and I'll see you later.